The xylophone etude for options one and three are the same in set two. So I'm going to be playing number eight on page 22 out of the audition etudes by Garwood Whaley. This one is in G minor, fairly straightforward etude, just a couple of dynamics. The one thing I would want to talk about is the rolls. The rolls occur in the middle of line three. The main thing you want to do is connect the rolls. You see a slur marking connecting the G to the D. What that means is do not release. You don't want to hear G, release, B flat, release, D. You want to have a really smooth connection between those first three notes. Then you have another slur marking over the next five or six notes. Again, you want to make sure that they connect. Do not leave little spaces there. You may even need to record yourself because I've had students tell me they think they're, they're making sure they're connecting when there's still a little space between the notes. It's really important that those sound really even. Let me give you an example. Here's those first three notes with a little bit of space. So this would be the incorrect way to play it. I don't want to hear that space. Here is what it sounds like when they're connected. Now there's a couple things you can do to help connect the rolls. For me, it's a sticking consideration. I start with my right hand on top of my left hand on the bar, so my right hand is closest to that upper manual. When I move to the B flat, I lead with my right hand. It goes into the center of the B flat. My left hand plays on the edge of the B flat. Then when I move up to the D, I'm actually going to lead with my left hand and have my right hand follow because it's closest to the D. My right hand always stays on top of my left hand as I play, but it just matters which hand you lead with. Experiment with a couple different ways to make sure you can play it your best way by getting a slurred and connected sound. Here's one comment about the notation you're going to see. There's a few staccato markings. I'm playing this etude on xylophone, which is by nature a staccato sounding instrument. So if you're choosing to play it on xylophone, I wouldn't do anything additional for the staccato notes. Just play them maybe with a slightly faster stroke. Even if you happen to be playing this on marimba, personally, I still would not do anything extra to the note. I've seen a couple people dampen the note afterwards. I don't think that's necessary. I think it's just a staccato marking to indicate they want a nice quick stroke off of there. Percussion instruments are by nature staccato instruments, so it's going to sound staccato no matter what. The only thing you may choose to do is add a slightly faster stroke. 